Hello there, and welcome back for another video. I am Brown Eyes of Brown Eyes Intuitions. Thank you guys so, so amazingly much for all of your positive feedback uh, towards my channel and supporting me. Uh, your support through your likes, your shares, your subscribes has really paid off leaving me a comment. I really do appreciate interacting with you guys. And I like it when you leave me a comment because it gives me a chance to pull your energy more. So when I do future readings, I'll have that energy in mind because when you co communicate with a person, you are exchanging energy. So it is a pleasure and an honor for me to get to know you guys. So thank you guys so much for your energy. Uh, thank you to all of my new subscribers because you guys have really been, I tell you, I'm almost there, y'all. I tell you, it is absolutely amazing to see what can happen when you really stay at it and really pour your energy into something. You can manifest it. You know, however long it takes, I am so enjoying the ride and the journey. So thank you guys so much. So today, since it is, oh, also, I hope this uh, uh, video catches you guys in awesome, amazing, high expectation energy so that you can attract that same positive energy back into your life right about now, okay? So what I'm about to do is because, you know, it is kind of close to the uh, holidays. You know, everyone's going to be, um, this is officially winter. So we're going to find out if your ex wants to come back. Uh-huh, that's right. We're going there. We want to know if the ex is wanting to come back, if the ex is trying to come back. This is the time of year when people try to be booed up. Make no mistake about it. And with the thing that's going on in the world today, most of the people, if they're if they're stuck quarantined in, please believe people already got someone in mind or someone who they're already uh, locked up in, locked in with. Don't, don't you know everybody got somebody? So I feel like some. I feel like the exes are either already established with someone else based on the energy. Uh, or they want to come back. That's the only two options. That's the only thing people can do now. Uh, but I feel like some, most of these exes are wanting to come back. So just out of curiosity and just for your pleasure, we're going to start the reading off with, of course, Aries, my lovely, lovely Aries. And we're going to see if your uh, ex is wanting to come back. Is your ex, does your ex want to come back is how I'm going to title this. Aries, does your ex want to come back? Now, this is pulling your ex's energy. Of course, I'm doing your reading, Aries. Uh, but I'm pulling, I'm doing your reading, pulling your person's energy and where they're at. Uh, are they in reconciliation energy? Are they wanting to come back or are they just, you know, doing their own thing or whatever? So just, just for those who would like to know, and also this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you guys. Just take the part that fits and discard the rest because obviously this is not the reading for you at this time. And thank you guys so much. So. I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to pull from my Love Oracle deck. I have cards, new cards coming, by the way. Just take it forever. And my Romance Angel Oracle deck. So I decided to pull one from each deck here. And, uh, I will interpret the top and the bottom card for your person's energy, Aries. Now, when I say your person, remember, energy can be interchangeable. So when I say you, it could be your person. When I say your person, Aries, it could be you. So just take, you know, just place yourself where you see yourself, if, if at all. So we're trying to find out if the ex is missing Aries. The ex want to come back. Okay, so from this Love Oracle deck, we have Palm Tree at the top. It says stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Okay, and at the bottom of this deck, we have seduction, attraction, can you see that? Sed seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So Aries, obviously your person here, it doesn't say your person doesn't want, want to come back, but it seems like if your person does come back, well, of course, it's because they're, they have a lot of passion for you. This is the reason why your person would want to come back and, and this is your ex reading. So your person here in this other deck, it has passion. Allow your heart and soul to, to sing, excuse me, for joy here. So I feel like your person has something else going on. And at the bottom, it says trust. Uh, they're telling you to trust Aries. <laughs> this situation is calling for you to have faith. I heard that shit. 
So now it's, it's calling for you to, to trust or, or to have faith here. Either this is you or your person, Aries, but we're pulling your person's energy. So, so far we see that your person is wanting to come back here. They're in the palm tree energy where they could already have stability, security, or they look upon you like that, Aries. That is why they want to come back. So I feel like they want to come to you in this energy because this is what, what this is the energy that you're in, Aries. It's the stable, stability, security, uh, permanence, you, you growth. Uh, you have a lot of growth around you. Um, you're just passionate because you're Aries. You know, you, you're action-oriented. You, your flexibility because you're always available. You get it done. You, you go in, you work that extra mile, Aries, to get it done. So, the, of course, it would make sense for this person to try to come back to you, Aries. But the problem with this person is that when and if they come back, Aries, they're going to come back in this seduction energy here where it says uh, attraction, Flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So obviously this person has someone else, Aries, but they want to come back to you because of what you offered them. You was the shit to this person, Aries. Make no mistake about it because this is how your person is seeing you here. This X here. Can you see this? Let me turn it around because y'all, someone said if they couldn't see all the cards, it would be nice if, if they could see all the cards. I got you, queen. I'm working on it. So... Your person here looks upon you, Aries, like you you you're stable. You 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 bring security to this person here. You're you're a total upgrade. There is abundance and growth around you. They always see movement and action with you. But this person at the end of the day is going to come to you because they're going to try to put you in a third party situation here because they do have other options. They they're already with someone else too. They have extremely a lot of passion for you, Aries, in this passion card right here. And it says, allow your heart and soul to sing for joy. You make this person's soul, soul sing for joy, Aries, from the passion. They can't get over that passion that you give them, Aries. That's why they want to come back. It's like you the shit, Aries. But obviously, you're not wanting them back because if you all this, of course, they will be with you unless you don't want they ass. Because you remember at the bottom of this deck, we do have trust here. So I feel like you don't trust this person and you're not going to give this person a chance. So let me pull some regular cards real quick for you, Aries. I've already shuffled, so let me just cut them. So it looks like you have an ex that wants to come back, but they're going to bring back some bullshit, Aries. So they miss you. They want to be intimate with you. It's passion It's passion driven. It's the reason why they're coming back. And because you're that chick, you, 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 um, you're home, you're, you're security for this person because of how you carry yourself. Eight of Pentacles. They know you're always working on something, Aries. They know you're going to get it done. You're going to always keep it done. So you have the King of Swords, the Eight of Coins, Temperance, Six of Cups. See, your person's going to try to come back, Aries. See that? I told you. Can you see these cards? So you have the Eight of Coins here. You have the King of Swords right next to the Eight of Coins here. I feel like this is you and this King of Swords uh, energy, Aries, because I feel like you you are going to be kind of, this person's going to try to come back because you got the six of cups here. But I feel like you're going to be, you're going to make a head of a hard decision with this person. You're going to be, you're going to be distant and you're going to be cold. You're going to be that chick. You're going to be the other side of areas that they don't want to see. You know, they're used to the loving side, but they know you can go there too. But I feel like if you guys are not together and they're trying to come back, it's because of something that they did. And obviously they put you in a third party situation. So you're going to treat them very cold, but I feel like you're going to be always working on yourself here. But at the neat, underneath this King of Swords, we have a temperance card here. So this is Sagittarius energy. This is uh, healing. This is balancing. You're going to keep yourself balanced, Aries, by not dealing with this person or dealing with this. It's like when this person come, Aries, this is what I see. When this person come... You're going to be so in control of yourself. You hear me? Where things this person may have done in the past that may have really ticked you off and, and sent you there, you're going to be so in control of your emotions with this temperance card because the king of swords is crowning this, that this person ain't going to be able to do nothing but uh, deal with it because I don't see you wanting them. You got the six cup. This person's trying to come back. So uh, I feel like you're going to be... You're going to be 100 when this person comes back. You're not going to be the same person that you were when, when you guys split up because of this person out here cheating around and mess with other people. 
But you remember with the next to this king of swords, you have the eight of coins. I feel like you're going to be working on your craft. You're constantly working on something new. That's why you got the temperance card here. The um the king of swords crown is temperance. You've been working on yourself in all type of areas. You're not even the same person. You know how to handle your shit grown and sex and keep it pushing. You ain't got to raise your voice. You ain't got to pop your neck. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is look at them in this king of swords energy. And that's going to speak for itself because you did some you did some work on yourself here. you also working on your money, um... Aries, because Aries, you know, you're a money maker magnet. So you're working on your pentacles and you're going to see the results out of it. But why are you working hard on your money? Here this person is trying to come back. You're going to be working. You might not even see this person coming back, Aries, because you're going to be working. You could be at work when this person walked back up on you here. Because you see this six of cups here. The six of cups is looking back at this eight of cups. The six of cups is looking back at this eight of cups. You see? They looking at you work hard. You remember they came in the palm tree energy where it says stability, security. They know you got it. They know you're going to always show them a good time. You're very hospitable. You're the life of the party. You know how to treat people. But this person is, is up to no good because if they really meant well, they wouldn't be coming back from the past to begin with. So I feel like this person's coming in from the past because they know how you get out. Aries, they know you you take care of your shit. Uh, you keep your shit together. But this person, obviously, you left them for the very, the very same reason that they're trying to come back for. But I feel like you're going to stand your ground with this person and you're going to stand in your power, Aries. So, Aries, this has been your reading for your ex. Does your ex want to come back? Hell yeah, your ex want to come back, Aries. But Aries is not having that shit, okay? So Aries, my darlings, if this video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.